Hello. So sometimes I start up a game of Space Engineers in survival mode, and I just start with just the, um, just the escape pod, and I don't start with anything else, and that's all I'm allowed to use. Uh, and then, you know, I start to build out from that, and I build myself a little bit of a mining ship that really sucks, like this one. Uh, and, uh, and then I build myself a better mining ship that doesn't suck, you know. And I grab myself a, uh, a hauler, a mining hauler, so I can have some, some free ore and some better cargo space. And I build myself a little bit of a grinder ship to help with the hauler. And then I get started on the real project, which is to build a large ship that can travel the stars. And so, you know, I've got my cockpit set up here. I've almost got enough glass to finish to finish sealing it off, and at that point I can pressurize it, and that'll be cool. And I've got these 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 cool LCDs that actually show useful stuff, and there's a camera on the back so that you can see into them without needing to be on deck all the time. And uh, all I need is a little bit more resources, so let's go out and grab a mining hauler, and oh, it killed me. Well, of course it killed me. I'm just made of flesh, right? So what do I do? Well, I, I hit respawn, but... I only have one medical bay, and there are four medical bays listed. Hmm. Turns out that in the course of trying to take that mining vessel, I accidentally spawned into existence the Volander Exploration Ship. It's hard to get an appreciation of how much larger this is than my base, but to give you a basic idea, this ship is large enough that my base can fit inside the hangar. I can't fit it through the doorway, mind you, but it would fit into this space. That's how much larger the Volander is than my starting than than my the thing I started. So obviously, it's time to move everything over to the Volander, right? Well, the Volander has a couple of flaws. The biggest flaw is that it was designed a long time ago in an old version of Space Engineers. There are no uh there are no intelligent blocks in there. There's no oxygen. There's no timers. Um, there's no mobile pieces. It's very, very basic and stable. And I mean, it's very well designed for those limitations. But it also has no mods in it, so all of the mods that I like aren't in this ship. So, there are also no external ports. So in order to connect to it, I'm going to have to rejigger the ship so that I can um, connect to it and dump all my stuff into the ship's cargo and then maybe retrofit it for oxygen and then maybe do this and maybe do that and I just got started and I started thinking you know retrofitting a truly huge ship to suit my needs that sounds like it might be kind of fun to record and do a little bit of a video of so I'm going to do it either way the question is do you guys want to see the videos of me retrofitting this ship retrofitting an old derelict so that it has a uh, has oxygen and has intelligent blocks and has some mods attached to it and does a lot of cool stuff. Because if you guys want to see that, I'm going to do it either way, but I can certainly record it and post it. Let me know.